going to splice a spar. This is the rear spar on my aircraft. It broke off right at the strut attach point there. And I'm going to splice on to a new spar. Now the splice requires a 15 to 1 pitch as according to 4313. So I made myself a box that has got a 15 to 1 pitch on it. And I will take my router and I will put it on the face of this and router out my 15 to 1 splice. Now I've measured and predicted where my router will enter and where my router will exit and taken that distance and confirmed that it is a 15 to 1 splice. I've also gone to the root and measured up to the attach point of my first bolt hole for my wing strut as a reference for later on when I go to put on my new spar. So that's what we're going to do. I will tip this up on end, put my router on it, and router it out and splice in my new spar. This spar also has gussets on either side which I will put back on and then another gusset that will be over the splice point uh, according to 4313. So now I'm going to splice, cut the splice into my spar here. As you can see I've set my wing up and it's sitting there pretty much level and uh, that way when I cut my splice you get down to the very end when it finally cuts the board you want to make sure there isn't any spring left it can bounce back up so the spar is unloaded I've got it clamped and secured looks pretty good and I got my router in place. I figured out how much I'm going to take off. Also taking little bites at a time. Maybe a, an eighth and then a quarter. And then just going down a little bit at a time until you finally get to the final part of your splice. And then you'll be in good shape. Well, let's give it a try. See what happens. And get on our way. Now you can see I have done my spar splice. I went through my plywood here, gusset into the wood, and then down you can see the wood end here, and then I start into my gusset on the other side. Now I left my gusset on the other side. I didn't cut all the way through because I'm going to take that gusset off anyway. <coughs> and this way it kind of keeps it a little firmer my edge doesn't get all frayed and flippy so now I got a 15 to 1 splice there and my spar is about 5 eighths of an inch and so if I measure out I'm roughly 9 inches which is about right for a 5 eighths times 15 <coughs> so I'm looking pretty good it's pretty smooth. It's nice to cut with a, a a mill end on my router or my router end because it opens up the pores in the wood and helps the glue to stick. You don't want to sand it. You want to have a nice cut so that when the boards glue together there's little holes and crevices for the glue to jump into. And you can see I'm pretty straight on my cuts here. It's about 90 degrees off the spar. Maybe a little curve in here. So there might be a little variation. So I've taken and I flipped my spar router box over and 
and I cut a 15 one to slope into my doubler here and when I go and bond my two spar halves together I'll run my gusset up here and use this as my ramp to bond that. Now what I'm going to do is going to take my router and I'm going to put it on here and I'm just going to router off that um, gusset I have there until I get down to about here and then that spar will be ready to go. So now you can see I've spliced my gusset right here this thing, this side put a 15 to 1 slope on it and I routed off the rest of the gusset and then I put my 15 to 1 slope here for my splice and that router really does a nice job it's nicely cut and then when I glue my two spars together then when I put my gusset on this side I'll just cut a 15 to 1 splice into my gusset material and glue it on here and then put my final gusset over the spar splice and there and I'll be on my way so now I'm off to tune up my spar and we'll go from there well I've laid out my new spar here unfortunately it's a little thicker than I'd like I only need 5 eighths and it's well over an inch but and it's a little longer than I really need but I'm a little, wasting a little wood there but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it to my size first which is about four and a half I got a quarter extra and then I'll put a little edge on it and a pitch and and I'll run it through my planer. I'll also cut it to length. And uh, should be ready to go. Nice piece of Sitka spruce. Love that. I've made my rear spar here. Made a Took a big piece of spruce and made it into a smaller one. It's cut to the width and height and long on length. And now I'm going to do my 15 to 1 spar splice onto the this one making sure that I'm splicing from the right side because there is a small pitch on this spar for the ribs I'm not sure if you can see it there and so I'm on my way looks pretty good Now you can see how the cut is working for me. What you have to be careful of is when you get to the very end here and you cut through the board that it doesn't pop back up. Also you can see by the line I'm pretty straight across here which is good. I'll come back with maybe just a final router just a little bit lower to take all these little bumps and stuff off but it's uh, looking pretty good.